Indeed. I shall leave now. And? Does Theron have the ring? Aye, he better. Or else I'll find him and give him what's what. May they meet then? Aye. I've unlocked the door to my daughter's room. Go and tell her I won't stand in her way if that's the man she wants. Ah, uh, fare thee well, young man. Hey. Are you Teron's friend? Friend? I suppose you could say I am not his enemy. Mother told me so much of you. My gratitude knows no bounds. Aye, tis indeed a change for me. To help young love, I mean. I prithee, go swiftly to the house of Solan Murbar here in the village. He's a mage who has promised to help us. I'll slip out and meet you there. I'm working, as you can see. Always welcome here. Well met. Well met. You must be the one whom Maya praises so. We are all in your debt. Without your help, it would never have been possible. I mayhap I have become soft, but they do indeed love one another. Soft? Nay. Was an honorable deed. Now, let us bring this to completion. Looking for something? Interesting company. they want. Today was a good day.
Let's have a look. Let's have a look.
Let's have a look. your work. What did you find in the tower? Tell me. You were right. It must have been the work of a necromancer, but I could not find the culprit. I knew that your reputation would prove a match for this. Here is your reward. I hope it is to your liking. Travel with awareness. Good idea. Ha, 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 ha. 
Who are you? Anon sent me. Stay back. I will not give you the mirror. But he wants the same as you, to get rid of the replica. Ha! But which one is the replica? Does it really matter? Aye, it does. My mentor taught me for nigh on two years. I grew attached to him, and I owe him this. Uh, if they are one and the same, and no one can tell the difference, why then all this trouble? That is not the point. Ah, I am not sure what the point is. But verily, I will not permit the replica to kill my mentor. You will have to decide sometime. What will you do, toss a coin in the air? Though Carmios might know which is which, it was his work. If you find that out from him, the mirror is yours. Safe journey, stranger.
drip, drop. that. locked.
Scoundrels. Well, good day to you.
Let's see. Good day to you. Oswaro has a new ruler, someone very powerful. Why do you tell me this? We wanted you to know. Do I know you perchance? Everything will duly become clear. For now, you have work to do. Oswaro is a dead place. Nothing can live there. You must reach your own conclusions. I am only a messenger. Are you Danor Potter? Indeed. How can I help you? I am well, but apparently grave business awaits you and your friends at Mustrel Mira's house. Ah, and did he tell you anything of this? Nay, except it is indeed a matter of some urgency. Where can I find your colleagues Fama Tolem and Gra Magna? They are both in Clovelly, which has been stricken by the plague. I shall go to Mira when I am finished here. I thank you for your help. I will try to find them. Farewell. Hey, what are you doing?
Well met, young man. Are you Gra Magna? Aye. What do you want? Mostro Miro wishes you to come to his home. When is this meeting? As soon as everyone arrives. It seemed very urgent to me. Aye. Then I shall go there as swiftly as I can. I thank you for the message. Aye. Farewell, then. <laughs> Always welcome here. Always welcome here. A fine day. You have an affinity for the plague, stranger? Fama Tolem? What do you want? I have much to do. Tell me. Mastro Mira sent me. He requires your presence at his house immediately. What does he want, especially now? He did not say. I was only to find you and give you the message. Ah, uh, tell him I shall be there as soon as I can. You have his message. Farewell, then. <laughs> Well, good day to you.
Let's have a look. That's interesting. Bandits.
Fiddlesticks, where is that boy? Have you seen my apprentice? Uh, not even from here. Fiddlesticks, I say! You are so nervous on account of an apprentice? Verily. My apprentice claims I am not I and refuses to work. I try to tell him I am I, but he says that is what the other I also said. The other I? Are you a uh, sick old man? It may seem uh, a little odd to you, but there is currently a double of me in that next village. What? A double of you? <laughs> not quite, but... Well, anyway, t'was not the success I thought it would be. And I need my apprentice back. Can you help me with this problem, stranger? Help you? Mayhap, tell me more of this strange problem. My apprentice was very upset by the procedure. He took the magic mirror we used, and he will not return it. Why not, pray? He refuses to believe I am the real one. Hi, prithee. Talk some sense into him. I need that mirror to get rid of my double. I will pay you well. I thank you indeed, friend. I can only hope that you are the original and not the replica. Why, of course I am. Now make haste, I prithee. Well met, stranger. Can you spare a moment? Mayhap. What is wrong? I am Ran Hograd, a captain of the Catalonian Royal Guard. Some days ago, my unit captured a dangerous orc leader named Whitehead. The orc who harasses our villages? The same. However, we did not reach Catalon with the orc. We were ambushed near this village. We beat them off, but I was wounded. Where are your men now? I sent them to Catalon with the prisoner while my wound heals. But I have heard nothing from them. Do you believe they will be ambushed yet again? Aye, Whitehead is a chief. I expect the worst, but I am still helpless here. What do you expect of me, Captain? Give me tidings of my unit, that's all. They should be on the road to Catalon. The carriage is too heavy to leave the road, so you will catch them with ease. Farewell. Do you have any tidings from my unit? Make he- Farewell. Greetings, stranger. May I offer you a small task? Suitable for a mercenary, perchance? Mayhap. I hear you, but with one ear. Forsooth, you know we're all millers here. We need seeds and flour to do our work. And of late, we've had problems with bandits on the road. That is a common problem these days. Indeed. But a large band attacked a woodcutter's camp east of here. And since then, they have to be paid for every caravan between Catalon and Windbreak. And you wish me to rid the country of these bandits? Aye. And if you do, I will pay you 1,000 in gold. Good man. You will find them east of our graveyard. How big is this band of thugs? Mayhap 10, no more. 
They say that some woodcutters attack their own friends from behind. Nothing unusual these days. Do they have a mage among their number? Nay, our caravan people have never seen a mage, and no evidence of magic near the camp. Aye, farewell. Well, good day to you. Welcome, stranger. Do you seek employment, perchance? Why, does it seem so? You look like a mercenary, and that is good. We need help. And if I were a mercenary, how do you think I could help you? I am the village mayor. I have to solve all the problems here, and we do have a problem. What kind of problem, pray? An ogre came here and took over one of our windmills. Now we only have two, but they are not enough. Not enough? Why not enough? Because the army needs food, and we have the only windmills in the region. And what do you suppose I could do for you? That is obvious. Just kill the ogre. My village will be grateful. Here, I will mark the windmill on your map. Farewell, mercenary. Good day to you. Thanks you. Take this. It is 500 in gold. Um, but now we have some more problems. Do you wish me to help you again? Come and see me when you have rested. I will explain all to you. Hail, good mercenary. I have another problem for you to solve. What now, Mayor? Rats in a windmill? Ah, the mercenary jests today. Good. Good, for you will surely need that good humor in our graveyard. Nay, tis the undead. These zombies stumble around our graveyard, and my people are terrified. My people can no longer pray at their ancestors' gravesides. Ah, the taint. Forsooth, that good mayor will be costly indeed. Aye, I, I feared as much. However, as mayor, I happen to have access to our village taxes. Your fee will be paid, mercenary. It lies to the east of our village. I will mark it on your map. Fare thee well. Well met, mercenary. Is the graveyard free of these undead zombies? Ah!
what's there? Have a look.
Let's have a look. Any tidings from my unit? Ye gods, did you find Whitehead among the orcs? Nay, Whitehead was not there. Then the beast returns to its lair, and I know its present location. The orcs are known to be secretive, so pray tell me, how in the name of the gods do you know that? One of the villagers said he saw a camp with orcs in the forest north of here. I believe it to be the same band. What, orcs so close? Aye, and I also believe they will attack this village soon. I can try to stop them. If you do that, it will give us some time to prepare. And remember, the white orc is the chief. Farewell. I bid you welcome. Have you dispatched the band of orcs? If you... Oh, want something? Aye, we meet again, young man. What about the bandits? How in the name of the gods did you defeat them? Do I ask how you mill your bread? Hmm. Anyway, here is your reward. And pray, do not go too far. I may need your help again soon. Good day. Ah, tis you again. Returned for another task, eh? Good man. What do I have to do this time? There is an abandoned sand mine in the forest east of here. I used to dig sand there. Good sand. I sold it to mages for their sand clocks. <laughs> Ye gods, the sands of time. How should I carry it? Sand in the hand, eh, Miller? Nay, nay. This is no jesting matter. Strange monsters live there now. Like huge insects they are, and a danger to us all. You wish them destroyed? Aye, indeed, destroyed. Glad tidings indeed. You will find them east of our village. I will mark it on your map. Farewell, warrior. Well met.
Welcome, stranger. How may I assist you? I come from Sigur. I need some information about insect monsters. Oh, pray tell, why are you so interested in mere insects? Sigur has hired me to kill them, and I like to know much about my opponent before I fight him. Very wise, too, if I may say so. And I will indeed tell you all I know, but I need your help in return. A minor task. Ah, tis that word again. I have found that minor in mage language means nigh on impossible in my world. Nay, verily. Tis a simple thing I ask. I need only one egg from the monster's nest. Are these eggs very heavy? Nay, they are small. Twill be a light object to carry here to me. If that is the case, I will bring you an egg. You have my word. Now, what of your insect knowledge, mage? You only have to ask. I heard that similar monsters appeared four years ago in the bamboo forest east of Ashos. That fascinated me at the time. It seemed like a completely new species. A mage started to study them, but the orc invasion forced him to return home. He did bring very interesting material about them, but all we know about them is from his work. I wanted to learn more of these insects, so I hired a few mercenaries to bring me an egg. They went south and collected several eggs. These eggs started to hatch one night, and those baby monsters killed all but one of the mercenaries. Twas he who returned and told me this. Now you know how those monsters came to our land through my endeavors. I wish to breed one of the queens and find any weakness this dangerous species may have. It seems they cannot swim, so the river gone protects us now. But they may ford the river soon, and we must then be ready to defend ourselves. These monsters make the orcs seem like babes in the wood, mercenary. May the god... Let's have a look. Well met. And you carry an egg for me, I trust? Marvelous. I can start my experiments now. I will leave you to your work then. What? Oh, uh, farewell, young man. I bid you welcome. Have you dispatched the band of orcs? Was a white orc among them? 
Nay. Ah, I knew it. However, I am grateful for your help. Take this gold and have a drink. If you come to me later, I will have something for you. I thank you and bid you farewell. Well met there. Welcome back. I have good tidings of the Whitehead Orc. Verily, pray tell me. My scouts told me that some orcs are hidden at the King's Barrows, and our special friend was among them. Good tidings indeed. Will you kill him? Will you? I shall not forget this. Nevertheless, I am somewhat unhappy. I would dearly have loved to settle accounts with that white head myself. We will mayhap... Hail, returning conqueror. Ah, you have no doubt squashed these insects like the bugs they are, eh? Ah, I knew you would succeed. Come, take these 500 gold pieces as a reward. Farewell, warrior. Well met, mercenary. Is the graveyard free of these undead zombies? My village and I thank you, mercenary. I prithee, accept these 500 gold pieces as a reward. Verily, you can defeat the taint. How fortunate for Windbreak. Tis fortunate? Why, may I ask? You must be tired. Rest now and later I will tell you all, brave warrior. Mercenary, are you well rested? Indeed. Aye, and what problem do we have to face this time? Forsooth, this is more a, uh, um, personal matter. I do not like it here. This war is too close. But I do not have enough money to move to a safer place. However, I do know where to obtain some treasures, but I need your help. Can I trust you to keep silent, my good man? As the Grave Mayor. In the Valley of the Barrows is one belonging to the old King Satrius, with much gold inside. I, um, happen to have a key to this barrow. I will give you the key. You will bring me Satrius's crown, and any other treasure you find is yours. Why is it that you cannot go there yourself, Mayor? Tis the taint. You fear it not. You have already defeated it. But I, a helpless miller, t'would destroy me. Tis good, Mayor. The crown for you, the rest for me. Where is the key? Here, take it. Farewell. You wish to speak with me?
them again? Today wasn't your day. that. Let's try that. Let's see. Ah, oh, greetings, kind stranger. My mother will be well soon. Please take these herbs with my eternal gratitude. I am glad your mother is better, and I thank you for the herbs. Come back anytime. I will always have herbs for you. My, my, a sight for sore eyes. Tis not long hence since I heard of you, but the rumors, though young, were obviously true. What did you hear of me, pray? A polite warrior who likes to solve problems, no matter how close to death he may come. However, my northern friends found you very helpful. Tis my trade. I work for money, not for gratitude. That is not what I heard. 
But if you wish to disguise any soft spots in your heart, tis not my affair. Tell me, what brings you here? Curiosity. I always look for employment. It helps me to keep my finger on the pulse of events in the land. So, you are curious, famed with our society, and skilled enough to squirm out from under the weight of the troubles you encounter. How fortunate. You begin to see the light, mistress, huh? Call me Amber. I am personal assistant to Sigius Destris, the seventh member of the Old Council. Your master seems very preoccupied with his business. He is not my master. Sigius is exceptional. Even those old geeks from the Council could not block his advance to power. The society has never known anyone of his age in its highest ranks. When I see you, my lady, he must indeed be special. What work do you carry out for him, pray? Research. Sigius and I follow the ancient legends of the orcs from Gorgamar. We are hoping to find the origins of their belief in Azeral as a savior and messiah. Did you know that the orcs occupied almost the entire continent during the War of the Gods? Their kingdom stretched to the inner gate in Talmont. Tis hard to imagine. Their belief in Azeral brought them here from the lands far in the south, beyond the Drakkar Desert. Tis fascinating, and despite the absence of Azeral, they live as if he were among them. Does this surprise you? Surprise, fascination, call it what you will. But our work is vital if the Catalonian Kingdom is to survive. Besides, there are not many who wish to know more of the orcs. I, people treat them like barbarians. But when you consider their history, tis hard not to, I admit. And how do you treat them? They are warriors, dedicated to their cause and faithful to their leader. There is hardly any difference between our races in that respect. Interesting. I was sure you were one of those brainless lumps of mercenary muscle. But when tested, you ring true. Sigius and I have spent much time in a search for someone like yourself, and then you simply wander in here. Is this a proposal for employment, or is it simply a compliment, which from your lips is indeed flattering, good lady? I don't have time to flatter, but the task I have in mind will need much skill and alertness. Mayhap you have those qualities. Speak with Sigius. He knows the facts better than I. However, if you decide to do this for us, it will be entirely at your own risk. As always. You are indeed a professional. Excellent. Mayhap my day has not been a complete waste of time. Be cautious. Your name is bandied about these days. You are indeed a busy man. Do you know that the society shows great interest in your motives? Motives to do what, pray? Travel. You ask many questions, and whenever anything of note occurs, you are always there or thereabouts. Coincidence may happen. Some things cannot be avoided. That sounds very... Uh, fatalistic. Nay, I mean I cannot stop gossip, regardless of the reason behind it. Aye, indeed. I know this well. What do you seek here, if I may be so bold? I collect information and problems. But I could ask you the same question. What does a society mage seek in this place, with almost no guards around? Amber is all I need. Do not judge her by her looks. She is worth more than a whole band of mercenaries. When we travel, it is better not to be seen than to draw attention to ourselves with an escort. Why do you have to travel, then? Why do you ask? Do you seek employment? I just told you I have no need of protection. Amber suffices. I am somewhat curious. Society mages are rarely seen away from their books and research. Aye, true. I hear that some doubt if there is in fact a society council. <laughs> is there? One of its members stands before you. But do not noise this abroad, I prithee. The society has no wish to draw unwelcome attention to itself. 
strange you say that when one hears of the efforts of the Silver Circle. The Silver Circle is effective. They find terrified people who think that the taint must be more than just a plague. The real danger is out there. It bides its time. What danger? Have you not heard of the Enclave? Should I have? Tis a promised land for all necromancers, ruled by someone called the Flame. They say that the Enclave is the seed of the new order that will grow to engulf the kingdom and the entire world. How do you know this? Orc mythology is only a part of my studies when I travel. The Enclave has become too dangerous to ignore. Is not this a task for the Silver Circle? There is... Mm, a lack of agreement between the members of the Council and little respect for the younger members. So they know not what you do? Why should I hide my intentions? Who can stop me? I promise to surrender this post if I fail to destroy the Flame and Enclave within a certain period of time. If they care only for their position, they will not be content whether you succeed or fail. I always thought that in times of trial and tribulation, I would only have myself to rely upon. I was wrong. Amber risked her career to join me, and there are others who will also join the victor. This sounds like preparations for a revolution. Some things cannot be avoided. Those were your own words, I believe. <laughs> Are you sure? This is more than dangerous. I live with danger. You said you wish to get rid of the flame, is that all? I hope to learn more about that person, but it proves to be almost impossible. If you find Enclave and the flame, you will know what to do. And the settlement? Where do I look for it? We would have found it if it were on this side of the river. It must be somewhere to the south. The orcs would not leave any humans alive there, necromancers or not. Mayhap they had no choice. I wish you more luck than I have had. It's my lucky day. What's that?
Always welcome here. What do you think you're doing? Stop. What do you want? No, no more homeless. I prithee, my home is full. Homeless? Oh, where are my manners? Good day to you, stranger, and well met. Forgive me. Things are terrible these days. Many homeless people in Catalan, eh? Indeed. And tis always the same people who take them in, while others rattle around in their houses alone. Aye, I heard. But I doubt I can help you there. Mayhap you can. An old wretch by the name of Rose Primsey lives nearby. Mayhap you could persuade her to take in some of the homeless. Mayhap you could persuade her to take in some of the homeless. I've always been too soft-hearted, so my home is full and her many rooms are unused. Farewell. Well met. Welcome to the fascinating world of Garondel. Do you wish to know what the future brings? Nay, I am not so sure that your science works. Ah, another unbeliever. But mayhap you could do something for me. Mayhap, but what? There is a man called Fariel who says he is an astronomer. He ridicules me at every turn. I hate him. Come to the point. What do you want? I wish to teach him a lesson about the world of astrology. All you have to do is unleash a harmless summon spell in his home. You are a nasty person. However, I am a gold-greedy mercenary. How much? Five hundred in gold. Wonderful. 
I would love to see Fariel's face when the beast appears in his house. Farewell! Can I help you? I... what is it? Nay, tis my house, and I'll have no dirty strangers in it. Peace be with you, good dame. I regret that I troubled you. What's that? Closed. something? locked. Do you have permission to be here? customers. <sighs> How did Fariel react to our little surprise? I thought it was obvious. And a small spider is no problem for a mercenary. Here. Take your gold and be quiet. Ah, that's interesting. Fiddlesticks! I suppose you want a horoscope, too! I am an astronomer, not a cheap fortune teller. Your miserable love life holds no interest for me. Hold, old one. I am not superstitious, and I have no time for girls except mayhap one. You seem somewhat nervous. 
I am an astronomer, not an astrologer. I research the skies. Mayhap I can also find Azeroth in his flying tomb. <laughs> Nincompoops. By the way, my name is Fario. Why are you so nervous with strangers? I need silence for my research. Yesterday, one of these stupid moonstruck boys barged into my observatory and broke a lens in my telescope. I am lost without my telescope. Ah, mayhap I can help you. Verily? I will have to make a new lens with a flawless diamond from the dungeons below the city. If you manage this, I shall show you my gratitude in pecuniary form. Wonderful. I will name the next new star after you. Farewell. Let's have a look.
Well, good day to you. Stop it, or I'll call the guards. This is a military area. Stop it, or I'll call the guards. Welcome, stranger. Ah, you must be a new member of the Royal Guard Special Forces. Nay. But what is this armor? This is of much interest to me. Pray tell me of this. I am the only authorized craftsman of the legendary Orc Camouflage Armor. It is worn by our elite soldiers during spying missions south of the Ghan. Ah, I would give much for such armor. How much for one suit, pray? <laughs> you jest. I need an order from the armorer to make a suit. Othus is the sergeant-at-arms of the Royal Guard. He gets the permits from the king himself. Convince him, and mayhap you will wear such armor soon. Mayhap we shall meet again. Hail and well met. Can I be of assistance? I perhaps. I spoke with Creo, and he told me of this wonderful orc camouflage armor. Could a poor traveler get such a suit of armor? Ah, brazen is he. However, could be that you are a fair hand as a soldier. If that is the case, it could be done. I have been known to win a fight or two. Could you obtain the king's order for me? Hold, hold. Such an order isn't given just because of youth or a sword. What do I need, pray? We are at war. Prices rise day by day, but our military pay remains at a standstill. But for 2,000 in gold, I can risk my career and get you what you need. And here is your order. The armor will not be lacking in quality, I assure you. Aye. Well met. Welcome, traveler. I and well met to you. Pray tell me, are you the mage who made a replica of Anon Moha? And if I am? I have to tell you that neither of them is happy about it. 
I may have. So he should have given it more thought. No one forced him to do it. Why did you do it in the first place? Why? Because we need good mages here. We had two posts to fill, so instead of taking two lesser talents, we decided to make a replica of Anon. So that he could take up both posts, understand? So why is it not now to his liking? I have no idea, but I will not permit him to kill his replica. Could defeat the purpose. Which of them is the replica? I do not know. There was no reason to tell them apart, so I did not bother which went with her. I want them both alive here, and I want that mirror. If you obtain it for me, our two villages will each have a mage. Ah, most kind of you. Everyone will benefit and we will be most grateful. Can I help you? Nice to see you. Ah, well met. I. Well met indeed, I. Well met. What's going on? Hey there. Looking for something. Good day. Looking for something. Hey, you! Stop! Ah, a stranger. Can I... Can I help you? Stop it, or I'll call the guards. What is it? What do you want? I? Well met, I... Grand day. Hail. What do you want? Welcome to the Brotherhood. You must be the courageous bounty hunter. There are many stories going the rounds about you, I tell you. Anyway, welcome to our glorious capital. I do my modest best. How fares Catalon? The homeless stream into the city by the hundreds. 
But what is worse, the Orcs prepare catapults to launch missiles against Catalon from the opposite bank of the River Gorn, even as we speak. Will you attempt to destroy this menace to the capital? Aye. We will make the Orcs think that this is indeed our plan. In the meantime, we shall try to stop the construction of the catapults in a different way. Our spies have made a discovery of great import. The Orcs have a problem. They know how to build the machinery, but they cannot implement a working trigger mechanism. This is the reason they try to steal our own triggers from Hadamore Castle. I see. I would guess that all this information will eventually lead up to a request for my help. Aye, a troop of guards would arouse their suspicion, but the Orcs will never suspect you. Try to get to Hadeborg first, and recover all our triggers before they get to them. A courageous reply. How many triggers are in Hadeborg? There are three in our biggest catapults. Those that an orc could fire. Please bring all three mechanisms to me. How much are those triggers worth to you? One thousand gold pieces each. I will only accept all three, however. That is a fair price. Farewell to you, mercenary. Good day to you. Good day to you. It takes much training to become important in the Brotherhood. Are you interested in learning some advanced combat techniques? Why do you wish to teach people these skills? I do not do this for fun. I see. Each skill learned co- The streets are dangerous these days. Not afraid of walking alone? I can take care of myself. No doubt, no doubt. But a few tricks would help, that's for sure. What do you mean? I can teach you street survival skills. If you really wish to explore dungeons and mines, you should know how to fight with a torch in one hand and a sword in the other. Most of those who dwell in darkness hate fire and will run from it. The streets are dangerous these days. Not afraid of walking alone? I can... No... What do you... I can... Only expert warriors know how to defend themselves against a swift blow with a shield. And even they try to avoid anyone who uses this technique. If you wish to master your trade, learn this skill well. The street... I can... What? I can... Novice fighters have problems with opponents who use shields. Not many of the dirty trick techniques work well against them. But if you have an axe, you can knock the shield from their hands and render them defenseless. Combat skills alone. What do you... you and you... Of course. Now you know how to break your opponent's weapon during a fight. Fine. But nevertheless, it is now of no use to you. So think well before you break a weapon. Traveling far, why not take some time to learn some advanced archery tricks? How advanced, pray? The best the Brotherhood has to offer. How to disarm opponents with a single arrow, how to aim fast, and much more. What would all this cost me? I will take 10,000 in gold for a single skill.
A well-aimed arrow can render your enemy defenseless. What chance has a warrior if his hand is torn with a ragged wound? Well met indeed. Traveling far. How it? What? I would. This skill is a rare one, and few have ever truly mastered it. But it will be worth the effort. You can destroy even a strong group of opponents before they even reach your position. Traveling far. How? An understanding of the weak spots in armor will give you a valuable advantage against heavily armored opponents. Oft times, it will be your sole argument in a fight. Traveling far, I will take. There is no greater danger in battle than to lose your orientation and be unable to detect an attack. This skill has been forbidden in tournaments and chivalrous contests, but I teach you survival, not court games. Well met, stranger. Uh, if Requel sent you, uh, tell him the arrows are not ready yet. Uh, it'll be later, later. I know of no Rigwell. What does he want of you, pray? He wants my arrows. And I have urgent need of his gold. It's that simple. I see. So why the obvious delay in supply? Women. I need dodo feathers for the arrow shafts. And what happens? My wife will leave me if I kill those sweet little birds. What a life. Could you help me, perchance? I thank you. The feathers of five dodos will suffice. May your aim be true. place. Let's try that. Did someone light a fire?
Let's have a look. Today wasn't your day. Let's see. Of here. you ah well met hey there I... Ah, well met. Well met, I... Oh, stranger. It 
it's closed. Grande. What did Lokar Mayo say? Do you know which one is real? Indeed. Will you be able to tell them apart? Aye, I believe so. Then take the mirror and give it to the real one. Be very careful. It must be the real Anon. I will do it. You are too nervous, apprentice. You must remain calm. Still. Away, Help. away! Help! Halt! A witness saw you stealing! Pay. 
All right. Can I help you? Did you get the mirror from the apprentice? Oh, well done. I shall destroy it now, and we can have both mages for a long time. You mean until they kill one another? Hmm. Let us hope it does not come to that. Can I help to see you? Good day to you, fine sir. I will come How later and help you with your cooking. Are you That's homeless? A Never yes. trust a one to a nice cup of May yellow root May tea. What? Nay, First, I, I must go to the merchant and see I my take uncle. This is a main kitchen for the home. I'll be at home no by names. then. Do you I have regret my I would like this. Or should I, I bring some more ingredients? It is a food kitchen for the homeless. No. These people, and we I have they say it helped them. Ready. But how can you be sure? Not all of us wish to give them beds and food. It is indeed difficult. I myself have bought one for old bones. And since most of these homeless used to be farmers, food gets scarcer from day to day. I see. Farming is mayhap not my strong point. But how can I help? Good man, forsooth. I know a woman who hoards up her food. She has so much that twill rot sooner or later. She can never eat it all. I pray thee, go and take her food before it goes bad. Good. Her name is Ornopori. She lives near the market. Travel safely. Good to see you. Well met indeed. Can I help you? Welcome. Good day, fair damsel. Good? The day is not good at all. Why then? Does no one buy food anymore? A poor sight, mayhap? Little business, perchance? The taint has ruined my business. The taint has nothing to do with the market, pretty one. Some food is tainted. Not mine, mind you. But shoots of the taint have been found of late in the market, so they do not buy. The superstitious expect tainted monsters to attack them in their kitchens when they try to slice their tomatoes. I, I see. But do you not fear that your wares could be tainted? I eat it myself. If you ask me, most Catalonians are milksops. They even throw their food out of their windows. Nay, in times of famine too. Mayhap I can help you in some way? Want to buy some vegetables? Oh, you surely never cooked a dish in your life. But I do wish you could help me. That is decent, stranger. Could you, mayhap, do something else for me? What do you need? I have a package of food for Clavius. <laughs> He's a funny old man. He calls himself the inventor. What does he invent? Strange devices. Then never uses them. Interesting. Give me your food package. I will take it to him. Oh, I am grateful to you. May Maliel smile upon you. Well met. Ah, well met. Looking Fine for something. Day. What leads you to me, then? 
Can I help you? What do you want of me? Good dame, hear me. Someone may try to sell you tainted food. Buy nothing. What in the name of all the gods do you mean? You are not in danger now because you have not bought any fresh market food of late. What do you mean, not in danger? What is this market food matter, pray? Ah, you do not know of this. Shoots of the taint have been mixed into market vegetables and potatoes of late. They are hard to find unless you are an expert. But the danger is very real. Have you not heard of the taint? The taint? I, I have come to think of it. I prithee, be cautious. I must warn more people now. Remember, buy carefully. Wait, I have some food at home which might be tainted. Someone came by just before you came and sold me a bag of food. I didn't know of the danger, though. Mariel, may I not give this food to you? Mayhap I'm already tainted. I should send an expert to you to take that food, but that will take time. I suppose I could take it with me now, if you wish. Oh, I beg you, take it away now. I don't need any expert. I trust you. I but tell no one I took your food away, lest they all wish me to do the same for them. I thank you so much for your help. Fare thee well, and my lips are sealed. Hail! Hail, stranger! Hail! Did you bring back food? If not, I have soup plates with red bottoms. I add hot water and tell them tis thin tomato soup. Catalan's homeless, thank you. A plate of tomato soup, may I have? Travel safely. Good day to you. Well met. Hello, stranger. How can I help you? That is a good deed. Tell me, how is her health? Her health is perfect, but there is a tainted food scare in Catalan, and she cannot prove that her wares are pure. Poor girl. I know how difficult it is to battle rumors. I wish I could help her. Forsooth, you can. I heard that you are an inventor. So they say. Can you create a device to check the purity of food? I do not know how to find out whether food is tainted or not. It matters not. Sarius food is good. We only need a device to placate the buyers and lay their fears to rest. But that would not be fair, young man. Tis not fair that people have no food, and all because some evil-minded person has started rumors about the taint. You can help those people, and Saria. Indeed, tis true. I will help her. I believe I do have something that may suffice. How does it work? Tis a small box. Put food inside and close it. With more than two pounds of food, a sweet sound will be heard. Ah, that is indeed what we need. I will give it to Saria, and will tell her to put more than two pounds of food in it each time. I appreciate your help greatly. For Saria? 
a pleasure. Farewell, then. Welcome, Traveler. Well, have you thought of anything to convince people that my food is not contaminated? What is it? It is a special device from the inventor. It detects the taint in food. Ah, oh, soon I will have my customers back. Here, I do not have much gold, but these rare herbs are sure to be useful. May Maliel smile upon you. Welcome to the Merchants Association Agency in Catalan. Do you seek anyone? Hmm? I shall see you anon. I? What can I do for you? it would never arrive. You must be that mercenary of whom they spoke. Who spoke of me? Why do you ask this? I do not understand. Taller Ravenard himself asked me to keep an eye on you. You, barely a member of the association. Can you explain why you are of such great import to him? Taller Ravenard? I, the head, the leader. The one! Is this so unusual? Aye, it has never happened in all my years here. Aye, whatever you say, friend. However, I just want my money. Then you will see me no more. Wait, I may need you soon. And if I refuse? I prithee, do not refuse. I have my orders. I must find someone both trustworthy and courageous. You seem to have half of those qualities. Oh, aye. And which half, pray? Courage. But our trust? That you have to earn. Hmm. <laughs> and your unpopularity with the common people surprises you? Ha! <laughs> he insults me. Do you not need this money? Trust me. If you come to an arrangement with the Merchants Association, it is the best. If you prove your worth, of course. Tis you again. Your reputation among our members has grown lately. We may have something for you. More packages to carry? How did you know? Intuition, and three years in the Drakkar Monastery of the Shavenback Monks. I have never heard of them. What are their powers? Shaven backs. Strange indeed. So, you will do this? Aye, money is money. Twill be hard, I fear. The Garitza has already killed our couriers just to obtain the documents. 
It is rumored that they pay very well for this. This sounds as if you wish me to work for the Giritsa. Nay, nay. Here, take this to Garrett Swan in Kudinar. He will expect you. And remember, this is secret. We were not sure if you get this far. Who are you? Only a friend. I know my friends and my foes. Are you sure? What do you mean? You have indeed learned a lot, but nothing of patience. A new faith, inspiration. May I paint your sweet countenance into my next picture? Well, I never. An artist, eh? <laughs> and what is your present masterpiece? I am Brokat, and I work only for the king. I am almost finished with a new portrait of him. It's wonderful. My felicitations, artist. A lucrative business, eh? It's <laughs> twas. Twas, but I promised to deliver a special portrait with a gold sunbeam shining at his head, and my saffron is finished. It is the news for me next week. Oh dear, tragedy will befall me. Aye, kings do lop off heads if promises are not kept. Think before you sign on that little dotted line. <laughs> Do not yes, sweet man. I shall be buried soon. Unless you could help me, mayhap. I need four saffron plants, and I will give you a goodly share of my royal bonus. My head will remain on my neck. I am so grateful to you. Fare thee well.
Always Good welcome day. here. Find the diamond? I really need it for my research. Make haste. Fa Welcome, traveler. Welcome. Not my kind of society. <laughs> You look like a smart fella. Gold's your number one interest, huh? What do you mean? Do you think they will reward you? I mean, really, reward you for helping the free world? Nay, never. A droplet of gold here and there. Ha! A regular river of gold. Now that's what you and I need in this world. I am not sure if you realize what you just said. Does the threat of the orcs mean nothing to you? I don't mind the orcs, as long as they pay. And you should think the same way. When you've got something of value in your backpack, think on my words. Aye, if it's valuable, come back to me here. I pay a lot more than the other do-gooders here. Goodbye. Ah, that's interesting. Welcome. Good day. Ah, my sweet rescuer. Have you found the saffron? Now, and here 
if you reward. Good day. Well, good day to you. Well met. Well met. Looking for something. Good day. Well met, I. Good day to you. Well met. Good day to you. Well met. Help me! Attacks Leave me, me alone! Nay. What are you nay. Nay. Oh, nay. Oh, oh, he nay. attacks me! Halt! Oh. You've been caught, Faith. All right. Hail! I greet you. Good day. Do you wish to speak with me? Good day. Well met, I. Can I help you? Good day to you. Let's see.
did you find the diamond? I really need it for my research. Aye, twill indeed help. Take this money for your trouble, with my gratitude. Welcome. Can I help you? Oh, stranger. Come in, aye. You seek something, perchance? day. Good day to you. Not everyone who is permitted to wear such armor. Very well then, 
I shall measure you. Then you return with 5,000 in gold, and the armor is yours. Mayhap we shall meet again. Welcome back. I have my new masterpiece ready for you. Show me the color of your gold, and the orcs are yours. Here is your gold. Now let me try this wonder. Tis indeed a wonder, but do not put it on here. The Royal Catalonian Guard will take you for an orc and slice you up. I am more than grateful for your advice. Aye, but remember, you can only use it once. Take it off, and it is done. Fare thee well. What is it? What do you want? Come no closer. I'll scream.
Good day to you. What brings you to a military camp? I am a traveler. The road is my home. Aye, and I would get on that road out of here again if I was you. This place ain't what you'd call nice. I have cause to be here. Do not concern yourself with me. I can take care of myself. Ah, an arty one, are you? Well, if you're that arty, mayhap you could help someone else, too. What can I do for you? Nay, hey, taint for me. A friend of mine got hold of a letter to our commander just by chance, see? And if he tries to return it, he'll swing. Had him on trial once as a spy, see? Let me guess. You wish me to give the letter to the commander. Aye. And you'd have to say you'd been to the capital of late, see? Are you mocking how I speak? Watch it. You just give this letter to our commander. His office is in the middle of the camp. And don't speak so funny. Tis suspicious. Will there be some kind of reward? Aye. My friend has some gold ready. Return here to me when you've delivered the letter, see? What do you want here? My office is closed. I have a very urgent letter for you. Give it here. Ah, the Commander-in-Chief. He wants to transfer Rex Crooked. And I must say, this forgery is better than Rex's last one. What do you mean? <laughs> do not think me an idiot. The Commander-in-Chief never gave you this. It is your bad luck that you have involved yourself with Crooked's crime. I am only a messenger. Do you know that I can put you in prison for this? However, you are in luck. I need someone like you, and I want you to do something for me. It is a simple matter. And remember, you have no other choice. Do it, or it is prison for you. What do I have to do? Get some whiskey for me. One of my soldiers is a smuggler. Go to him and buy a few bottles for me. Of course, no one may know the whiskey is for me. Officially, I do not drink, and I have no idea the identity of the smuggler. As you say, I have no choice. Pray tell me, where can I find the smuggler? His name is Samuel Gierkor, and his quarters are nearby. He will not admit that he is a smuggler, of course. Mayhap you should ask Rek for help, as you two are such close friends. <laughs> are there problems with the new people? Here is 19 gold, enough for three bottles. Return swiftly, and no tricks. I could send a full brigade of men after you. I shall do my best. Farewell, mercenary. A stranger? Here? I hear you are a traitor of sorts. You mistake me for someone else. Are you Sabal Girkon? We are not permitted to speak with strangers. Tis the law. Have you delivered that letter yet? Aye, I have. And did the commander read the pesky thing, eh? Not in my presence. What do you mean? Ah, you mean not while you was there, I see. I have a question. I hear there is someone here who can sell me some good whiskey. Can you help me find him? Who told you that, eh? Eh? A friend. But that was all he knew. Better for him, too. Anyway, I'll tell you. Tis Samuel the smuggler. His password for today is whiskey makes you frisky. I'll show you where he lives. I thank you. And my reward? Oh, almost forgot. Here it is.
what do you want of me? Whiskey makes you frisky. You know the password. Who gave you it? Rick. He told me you have some good quality liquid. Mmm, that wreck. A loose mouth. Are you good friends? Good enough. Well, what do you need? Three bottles of whiskey. Three bottles. Cost you 99 golden smackers. I was told a different price. Eh? For the finest whiskey? <laughs> Right, because you're Rex's friend, huh? Well, let me think. Now, okay. Last price, 90. And here are your bottles. Hide them well. And if anyone asks, you don't know no semo, see? I thank you. May the gods go with you, but go. Did you get that whiskey? Aye, here are the three bottles. Ah, at last. I trust I can count on your discretion? Indeed. Farewell, mercenary. Hail, I'm Zeros, ranger for the Catalonian army. Men also call us spies. But who are you, and what brings you here? My work takes me to every corner of the world. This camp is a welcome change to the road. Aye, so you are a ranger? Interesting work, eh? Tis indeed, but dangerous too. Today we search for an orc whose traps kill and maim many of our soldiers. This orc does not seem to care about anyone, eh? Aye. And he even puts his initials on his traps. You and why? <laughs> we have no idea of their meaning, but we call him ugly. Hmm, do you know anything more of him? Nay, he is tricky, but he must be killed. Have you any interest in this task? It would pay well. I thank you. That will help me indeed. We have much to do since this war started. Fare thee well. Day. What do you want here? I am a traveler, and my road leads me I know not whither. An adventurer, eh? I have need of someone like you. How can I be of use to you? Our commander drills us too much. The soldiers are sick of it and want revenge. But for this, we need his underpants, <laughs> and tis you who will steal them. Why not steal them yourself? The soldiers can't be suspected. Otherwise, it's prison for us. What about it? Interested? The commander's servant will wash them soon. You can easily steal them. <laughs> it would be better to have them unwashed. Where is the place for washing garments? Down by the riverside. That gives me an idea for a ditty. Aye, right, farewell. Stop that, or I'll call the guards. Hmm. 
Let's have a look. Interesting. Let's have a look. You give me that, I'll kill you right now. Did you steal his underpants? Stout fellow, here, we made a collection for you. Aye, farewell. Have you already killed Ugly? I, I believe it. But well met and well done, mercenary. Here is your gold. Fare thee well. If you want food, no. Rations too small for soldiers like you. Officers different. Firstly, I am not a soldier. Secondly, I am not hungry. And lastly, what do you do here? I both know the cook. I make sure soldiers have full belly when battles start. It's not easy. Rations small. And for officers? My officers have special food. Now they want wolf hearts. They think it make them strong. <laughs> ah, that is their problem if they wish to eat such food. Why do you argue? Their problem? Nay, Bodo's problem. Bodo must get seven wolf hearts fast. Me, Bodo, not officer. I must hunt in forest for wolf hearts. If I not find, they hurt Bodlo. You help me, huh? Ah, you good man, fine man. I must work now. Let's see. Oh. 
Let's have a look. That's for you.
You have hunted wolf, eh? You got seven wolf hunts. If not, officers kick Bodo. You no want that, eh? Ah, so. No matter. Bodo, thank you. No, Bodlo, no money, but lots of information. Hear much when officers eat. <laughs> this sounds interesting. Pray tell me more. Ah, so you listen. Bodlo, speak. Officers kill orcs on river, hide orc treasure on the boat with us. Do you know where the orcs were killed or where the boat is? They say, Kudina River Island east of camp. Orcs kill on river arm south of city. But much orcs always there cannot get treasure. <laughs> Bodlo, you good man. Farewell. Bodlo, see you soon. Farewell. <laughs> day.
Tell me, how fares your mission? Have you found all five parts of the relic? Then I will not delay you further. Have you seen her of late? How does she fare? Nay, Rice told me to stay away from the cities and wait for news from you. I do not disobey orders. That's interesting. customers. That's for you.
Ah, well met. Malil be praised. You have returned. With feathers, I hope. Malil's eyes? I am wifeless. How could you? Nay! <laughs> Even a mercenary may jest now and then. Forgive me. Malil's bunions! A cruel jest indeed, but my relief is great. Can you do me another favor? I have had my fun. <laughs> and now you wish revenge, eh? Hey, what do you want of me? Rigwell's messenger is not reliable. Return here on the morrow. I shall give you the arrows, and you simply take them to Rigwell. How does that sound, my jesting friend? May your aim be true. Ah, I, I hoped you would come back. The arrows are finished. If you take them to Rickwell, I shall pay you well. The feeling is mutual. Rickwell will pay you on delivery. May Malio protect you. I... Hail, traveler! Well met. You seem downcast. Can I help you? I, tis my brother. He has a heart of stone which nothing can soften. Do not talk so of your family. I wish I myself had... Ah, what is the use? Tis my problem. Just do not hate your brother. Nay, I do not hate my brother, but... It's hard to love him as a brother should. I'll tell you what the problem is. My business is almost dead, and my father's heritage could save me from ruin. But my brother will not share it with me. 
I was in Kudana when the old man died. When I returned, my brother said the money was all gone. But I cannot believe that. A nice family indeed. He is deaf to my pleas. He never liked me and now he can show it openly and ruin me at the same time. Can you try to convince him? You have a strong feeling for family that will shine through to him, perchance. Ah, I have a feeling that you will succeed where I have failed. He lives here in Cathalon. His name is Mario Drass. I've always been the favorite son. Morio tried to please our father, but the old man always preferred me, though I did nothing to deserve it. When our father was on his deathbed, Morio took care of him. I was in Kudinar, and because of this, Morio wants it all for himself. My father did well with Azarel relics. This is why I do not believe that such a son was gone. If I can get hold of my share, you will not regret it. I, his young wife, I'd say. They do not speak much with one another. He just cannot show his feelings. And she is young and pretty. Fare thee well, mercenary. sent me. He wishes to make peace with you. That scoundrel only wants the money he thinks I have. Mayhap. But twould be better to settle this heritage, would it not? Have a look at yourself. You do not seem to be full of joy, but rather unhappy. Ah, do not need my miserable brother to be unhappy. You and your brother are safe and alive. You seem to create problems, the two of you. You should both be content with what you have. Tis none of your affair anyway. No one asked you to poke around in our problems, and I told you I do not care about my brother. Why so loud and harsh? I believe this is something else. Mayhap your wife has left you, hmm? How did you know? Did River tell you this? Nay, your bad temper makes it obvious. Only a woman can cause such a reaction. Careful with your words. Ah, what's the use? Ah, she has left me. I'm an outsider in my own family with no friends. Why not try to get your wife back? Mayhap tis a mood. Women have them, you know. Why would you care? Or do I get rid of you if I ask you for a favor? I suppose so. And if you get your wife back, would you settle affairs with your brother? Mayhap. First of all, pray take this flower to my wife. I cannot do it myself. I just cannot. You're a strange one. I cannot for the life of me understand why you give us help. Ah, did my brother promise you money from our heritage? Anyway, take this flower to my wife. Her name is Ayla, and she lives with her sister Tuya now, here in town. Ah, leave me alone. Psst. Step 
Closer! Here! What is afoot here? Are you afraid of something? Afraid? Nay. I do not want anyone to overhear our conversation. So, what is your problem, good dame? I thought you might go to Fierce Knox, the alchemist, and buy me a love potion. I cannot go myself, you see. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Oh, who is the lucky man? Oh, tis not for me, but for my sister. She left her husband and moved in with me. She is worse than my romantics, I tell you. This house is no longer mine. She turns everything upside down. The love potion is to make her return to her husband. Why did your sister leave her husband? Forsooth, Morio is a dull clod. And he talks loudly in his sleep. And he is downcast because of his brother. Tis something about a heritage. It just eats him up. And besides, there were other private reasons. Why not get this love potion yourself? Can you not ask the alchemist? I cannot leave. My sister might throw my lovely old things out if I left for even a minute. You will not regret it. I thank you. Journey safely. Greetings. Looking for something? Interested in alchemy? <laughs> Potions, eh? I have them all. I heard you, uh, also have love potions. My love potions are famous. The person only has to say the name of the one to be loved while drinking the potion. Genius. <laughs> The drinker will then fall helplessly and blindly in love with the person whose name has been spoken. Clever. <laughs> this sounds rather dangerous to me, Alchemist. Codswallop, who's to drink it, eh? You? A female? I? Nay, nay. It is for a female. Ah, females need a different mixture than a man. And we do not want her to have manly problems, do we? <laughs> Nay, no problems, I prithee. You need not worry. My lips are sealed. For 200 gold pieces, the potion is yours. I already have many prepared. <laughs> Clever. Hi, you have made a good choice. My love potions are miracle workers. I do not wish to go into details. To know that it works, that is paramount. Nay, not that I know of. But if you hear of any, pray do tell me of the experience. <laughs> Farewell and good fortune. <laughs> Stop. 
stop it, or I'll call the guards. for my sister? I thank you. And I'm sure it is the right thing to do. I had to pay for the potion. How much? 200 plus my time. 220 in gold. A fair price for my domestic peace. I thank you for your help, stranger. I thank you. Journey safely. Let's see. seen my wife? What did she say? Do not get on my nerves then. And leave me alone with my brother. My life will now be easier. be Isla. Have we met, perchance? Nay, because if we had, I would never have forgotten those eyes. How charming, though it lacks imagination. Who told you where I am? Now I see why your husband is so unhappy. He sends you a greeting from his heart, 
and asked me to give you... Oh, that dimwit. Tell him I will have none of his gifts. My sister and I do very nicely indeed here. Fare thee well. What did she say? And what did she say? She never wants to see you again. But why not make peace with your brother now? Women are too strange for me. I will think about my brother. Ah, leave me alone. I had how much to a I Let's have a look. Mm, won't open. Well met. Uh, have you found anything of my heritage? And? He is indeed hard-headed. You will never get your heritage if you depend on him. However, I have another idea. Speak! Speak! Your brother talks in his sleep about his heritage. It would seem he is much concerned. Why not sneak in at night and eavesdrop on him? Mayhap, he will speak of the location of the gold. Weird indeed. But if it succeeds, you will get a share. How do you know he talks in his sleep, though? My secret? You try this and we shall see. I am grateful. Return later. If your plan works, I will reward you well. Tis you again. And the heritage? Mario is very careful. I must slip into his house. Mayhap he will speak of this in his sleep. I will not bother you again until you have solved your problem. Farewell. Welcome here.
What do you want of me? What a beautiful flower. Why do you do this? What kind of attitude is that? I lost my family, and even warriors can be lonely. I have met many lonely people. I help myself when I help them. Barely. I am lonely too. My dear husband died of late, and we were childless. Do you not miss the sound of children's laughter in your home? Oh, I. I indeed. But I am too old to have children now. Good dame, you could adopt some children. There are many such in Catalan, lonely and homeless. They lost their parents in the war. I never thought on this. I believe I could do this. Ah, but I am old, with no strength. I would need strong, young arms. I have met widows like yourself who could help you with the children. If you wish, I could ask them to come here and bring some orphans with them. Could you do this? Fill my house with laughter again? Oh, I, stranger. I! Your eyes glisten when you speak of children, good dame. I will do everything I can to help you. I thank you, good man. Farewell, then. Fare thee well. Have you spoken with her yet? A cold-hearted witch, eh? <gasps> My Mario's red gums. How did you persuade her? I did not expect this result, to be honest. She wishes to found a home for orphans. She will accept children without parents and one single woman who can help her. Oh, Rosalind. It is a, a miracle. Malil sits upon your shoulders, methinks. Who knows? I must take my leave of you now. I prithee, take this small reward with you, and fare thee well, miracle worker. Farewell. My life will now be easier. Good day. How do you fare? My wife returned. That makes me happy. But on the other hand, my brother stole half of the heritage. That is indeed sad. If I did not have my wife, I would kill him for that. But I am so happy with Ayla, I can try to forget it. Mayhap tis time for you and your brother to make peace. Aye, but he does not dare to speak with me. Mayhap I could convince him. Would you do that? He is my only family, and we should stick together. Aye, I shall try at any rate. My gratitude goes with you. Ah, she is marvelous. I feel that she truly loves me for the first time in my life. <laughs> Glad tidings indeed. <laughs> Go with our... Hail, stranger! Well met. You have returned. Well met. 
this day finds you happier, methinks? Aye, your idea of eavesdropping on my brother when he talks in his sleep was marvelous. I found out where the gold was on the very first night. I heard that you already took your share. Aye, of course. In the eyes of the law, half of it belongs to me. This means that a good reward awaits me here, eh? Aye. What do you think of 1,000 gold pieces? You surely jest. I think more like 10,000. Nay, 5,000 is a fair price. Agreed. Take your money. Use it well. I shall. Your brother wishes to speak with you. To make peace, that is all. Are you sure? I don't trust him. I just stole his money. His wife has returned to him. He seems content. I would take this chance if I were you. Mayhap I shall. Fare thee well, and remember, family is family. I shall remember it. Good day to you. From the bundle on your back, you must be from Nellor. Is it my arrows at last? I am, and I thank you. These arrows will pierce the hearts of the orcs across the river. 
Nellor's arrows are the finest in the entire kingdom. Twas my pleasure. Here, take this gold with my thanks. If you are in need of more, mayhap I could give you a simple task. Ah, tis the usual. Women, beer, and heroic deeds. But something odd did happen, come to think of it. Twas a mysterious stranger. Ah, a mysterious stranger again. Sounds familiar indeed. Mayhap, but this involved treason. Gravor, the mysterious one, came here and spoke directly with the camp captain. And? He said that a high member of the Royal Guard had deserted to the Orcs. Our spies searched for the deserter during their forays behind Orc lines. If you wish to know more, you must find Gravor yourself. Strength to your sword arm, stranger. What do you want? I answer directly to the king, so do not waste my time. Are you Gravor, the king's ambassador? I, but that is no concern of yours. Get away from me. No concern of mine, you say? I believe I disagree. Do you need help to catch deserters, perchance? That information is supposed to be secret. Ah, there are no secrets in an army camp. Well, you are here, and mayhap you could prove useful. I tell me more of the traitor from the Royal Guard, pray. Huh. You are indeed well informed. His name is Kuhn Pike, a distinguished general. And he has deserted to the slimy orcs. Maliel only knows what they offered him. Much money. Like enough. Enough to make him into a traitor. I fear you are right. This is one more reason to get rid of Kuhn Pike. He cannot be allowed to pass on information about our defenses. If you handle this problem, the Royal Guard will be very thankful. Ah, if we had more like you in our army, the Orcs would shake in their boots. Fare thee well. Did you execute Kun Pike? Pity. This deserter must be executed. However, if you do find the time, a goodly reward awaits you. Our spies tell us that Kun Pike is in the destroyed castle of Hatterberg to meet the Orc chiefs. He must be killed before he reveals anything to the enemy. Fare thee well. Let's have a look. Can I help you?
Met, stranger. What's wrong with you, eh? Nothing to do? There is no need to be hostile. Oh, a diplomat, eh? I, I have no time for this. I have more to do, luckily for you. Ah, these clods. And they call themselves soldiers. Soldiers? I, my platoon. They go drinking on leave, that's fine. They return late, that's not fine. And then one of them even decides to desert, and that's a fine swine. When I find the time to find him, and I will, I'll kick him all the way back to the barracks. I would not like to be in his shoes. If you go by the Leaning Elm Inn, look for Arian Terrace. Tell him he's in up to his neck. I'd bet my armor he's in there, full of ale and dreams of gold. Death by hanging if it happens during combat operations. A hundred lashes in peacetime. One hundred lashes? If he survives it, the boy will only have half a back left. We call it discipline. I am a mercenary. How fares your camp? We don't have enough men. I should join the army. Is that what you mean? <laughs> nay, nay. But uh, two of my men deserted. And I want them punished. I have no idea where they might be, however. Do you wish me to bring them back to you? Nay, we have no prison here. Uh, there is, however, another way. Nay. You want them dead? I did not say that, but uh, twould be best, and your reward will be appropriate. 
What? You collect mushrooms, do you? Mayhap you are not the best man for this uh, delicate task. How will I prove to you that I have done this? I will carry neither corpse nor head. Wilcor has a nice braid. Bring me that as proof. And the other? Oh, uh, mayhap you are truly the one for this mission. Nay, Wilcor's braid will be enough. They are cowards. I do not miss them, but I must make an example of them for the others. Nay, but should the Mancy deserters go unpunished, we will have no army on the morrow. Farewell, mercenary. Let's see. Some business for me? Are you Arian Terius? Your captain awaits you. Ah, imprisoned too, when he sees me without armor. Where is your armor then? That is what he will ask too. I must return to the barracks, but with my armor. Pray tell me your tale, soldier. I'm ashamed. Ah, I lost in a card game. The stakes were high. I had good cards, but that cheat Aristorodias won. Now I have no armor and no money to buy it back. Aye, tis bad luck. But you only have yourself to blame. That was the best hand I ever had. Only one hand could beat it, and Aristo had that hand. I know he cheated me. How do you know? I found a card on the ground under the table after everyone had gone. But that is still not enough proof. I, with good reason. I am normally a good soldier and I have learned my lesson. You again? Did you pass on my message to Terrace? He what? Lost what? Do you jest with me? I hope not, fellow. Do I look like a jester? 
I see this cannot wait after all. A soldier without his armor? I shall send someone for him right away. What's that? Bandits. Nice atmosphere. Did someone light a fire? That's interesting. Thank you. 
Mm, locked.
Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Scoundrels.
again. Seems locked.
What's that? to fight. Stop, human. You will die anyway. 
But before you die, you will scream much information to Whitehead under torture. What? An educated orc? And you speak our tongue so well. Surprised, eh? I learned your stupid tongue to understand my human prisoners when I torture them. <laughs> I come from Captain Hograd. Ah, I see you know this name. Uh, he is an orc-like human, a great warrior, but his wound keeps him in the village. Mayhap he is lucky, cause if he comes out, I fight him again. His wound heals well because of a special magic, and I am sure he would like to meet you again, Whitehead. Fight, great warrior, indeed. Better than robbing from humans. You tell Hograd, I wait him in Trogl ruins tomorrow after the sun goes down. That save your human life. Leave now. Go. Now. Why should I tell you, human? But you did go to Hograd and tell him. So now I will tell you. We opened a secret door leading to the king's barrels. Countless treasures awaits us. A good plan, with profit too. When do you plan to finish your work? Hmm. We are nearly done. I could have the gems already if these tunnel workers faster. Gems and gold? That sounds promising. May I perchance use your tunnel? If you take my message to Hograd, maybe I let you have what we leave. There you are. Did you find Whitehead? Aye, he is difficult to overlook. I found him at the King's Barrows, just as you said. He wishes to meet you. What? How can you know that? These animals can only growl, howl, and throw weapons. Nay, not this one. Master Whitehead understands our tongue and speaks it very well. I knew it. I sensed there was something different about him. First his outstanding fighting skills, and now this. Indeed, impressive in every way, but you will see that for yourself. He asks you to meet him in the Tragul ruins tomorrow, after sunset. Ah, my chance at last. Can you tell him that I will be there, but that I must first make preparations? Aye, I have business with him too, so I shall give him your message. Aye, but be cautious. This orc is very dangerous and cunning. I am torn between admiration and hate. He is a great warrior and has mastered our tongue, but he is also a killer with no conscience. Verily, could there be more orcs like that? Aye, there may be more of that sort. And if that is true, the orcs will indeed be terrible enemies. Fare thee well, mercenary.
Let's see. Ah, uh, the tiny messenger is back. What says Ho Ra? Ah, uh, Whitehead will teach Ho Rod an Ark lesson. As you wish, O oh master of the many wafting smells, but what of your offer to let me use your tunnel into the king's barrows? Orcs keep promises. You can poke your human snout into the dust there. We already searched everything. Have a look.
Mm, won't open. Here we go. Let's have a look. What's that?
Temperature is rising. Pathetic. Dark. Bandits. Well met. Did you bring the crown? Not gold? What do you mean? It would seem that young Prince Emrys buried a cheap replica with his father. That little cheat! The worm! He has ruined my life! Farewell.
looking for something. here. Let's see. Let's see. friendly. Thank you. 
No time like the present. Closed. Let's see. Good day. 
Greetings. My marriage saver. Have you delivered the arrows to Rigwell? Tis a pleasure to do business with you. May Malio protect you. Can I help you? Let's have a look. Oh, not again. Let's see.
Who turned up the heat? Let's have a look. friendly.
It's locked. Looking for a fight? Let's have a look.
rain again. Let's see. Oh. 
Interesting. to fight. That's for you. Let's have a look.
Let's see. What's that? Them again. Today wasn't your day. Let's have a look.
Oh, nice weather. feel much better.
What's that? Let's see. Seems locked.
Not my kind of society. <laughs> What do we have here? Who are you? And what do you want of me? You are a deserter. Where is your friend? Deserter? I? 
Who told you this? Captain Spurk. And you did not answer my question. The Tory drowned. The, the boat went down. But we did not desert. We were on a special mission to Catalan. What mission could that be? And why would Spurk lie to me? That rogue. Were he not the brother of my beloved, I would... I shall tell you. I love his sister, and Spurk does not approve. It is nothing but a trap. He sends us on a mission, then sends you to kill us. Why would he send Tori with you if he wanted to kill only you? A fishy tale indeed. Twas me who told him I needed Tori with me. Spurk did not like it, but obviously could not refuse. Otherwise, I would not have trusted him. Uh, hold. I wish no fight with you. Maliel, I thank you. However, I need your braid as proof of your death for Spurk. Why must you return to him? Gold is the one true love of every mercenary, friend. I need that braid. Come. Oh, take it. Nay, but twas night, and twas Spurk who told us where the boat was hidden. We could not know. Ugh. He wants her to marry someone of great import from Catalan, and that he can become a major, or even a general. May Malil smile upon you. again. Lovely weather. Always welcome here. Always welcome here. You from the army? Nay. Nay? I've been here for hours. Never wait in the army. But you look like a mercenary. M mayhap you could do it? What? I went into my cellar, and I saw some burglars down there. I rushed out, and I locked them in. If you take care of them, I'll give you a considerable reward. I knew you were the man for the job. 
oh, mayhap they needed a hiding place, or mayhap they thought it was abandoned, since I rarely use it. Not that I know of, unless those burglars managed to dig a tunnel or something. Hello, youngster. Do you perchance need forbidden wares?
Oh, scoundrels. Let's see.
always welcome here. Hey. I heard. You really did him in. Aye, they will cause you no more problems. Ever. Well, here's the gold. As promised. Oh, mayhap they needed a hiding place. Not that I know of. Unless those birds...
Mm, won't open. Always welcome here. Let's see.
Ah, welcome, brother. We already heard the tidings from the north. What can we do for you? I wish to see your leader. Go inside. Reve is in his room. But I do not know if he can find time for you. Does he have so much to do? Ah, you have not heard? The Geritza is on alert. Someone plays games with us. A very clever someone. Ah, you are the one from Talmont. Lono told me to keep an eye out for you. Any particular reason why you should do that? Aye, you are skilled at hunting people, and I need a hunter, a good one too, who can solve our problem for us. Problem? Nay, what I mean is, the family never has problems, only tasks. We can pay you well. Your leader, I would speak with him. Does that mean we have an agreement? Not yet. First tell me what you need. There is one who calls himself Scar. No one knows where he has a Scar, though, come to think of it. You wish me to tell you where his Scar is? Nay, Malio's toes. This Scar has already killed some good men, and he caused a lot of trouble in Forolin, too. You mean Gorilin? Aye, he was active in Talmont for a while as well. He even stole an item of great import for us, and used our own people to do it too. That was painful, I warrant. Aye, and now rumor has it that he is in the south. He has plans, and whatever his plans, we cannot tolerate more failures. Find him, and get rid of him. I will speak with Raver if you wish. The reward will also be yours. Splendid. Come back when you've found something out, anything at all. Our informants mentioned four stones and windbreak. I would start there. May Malio be w I heard of your progress. Stirring stuff indeed. Your people say that you need someone for a certain task. Indeed. When we take one step, we must take another swiftly before they know of the first. Scar's friends? I, and the Merchants Association. We have collected enough evidence. They plot against the family. Verily, and the task? I believe you already guessed. Hmm. Taylor Ravenard, the leader of the Merchants Association, must disappear. You wish him dead, by my hand? Indeed. When they lose their head, we will give them a new one. One who is more sympathetic towards the Garitza, and less stupid. What is the payment? Thirty thousand in gold. It is more than he's worth, but I wish to end this swiftly. And that sum will warrant his demise, methinks. Do not fail me, brother. We count on you to succeed. Travel safely. Speak. Not too many people here for a mighty organization like the Giritsa, I mean. I know nothing. Ask Aki for a reason if you need one so badly. Not that badly. Have you been in the family for long? Long enough. Do you wish anything special? Or you just want to see some friends? You all seem nervous. Is something afoot? Our leader has delayed too long. Kudinar becomes a trap that closes with every day that passes. Are there problems with the new people? Someone is very clever. They find the weak links in the family and bribe them. Now we can no longer trust our own people, and those swine do as they wish. Tis a grave problem indeed. Aye, grave. But... I trust Aki. He has solved worse problems than this. I wish I could help him, though. Something to be done, mayhap? Talor Ravenard, the boss of the Merchants' Association, has been busy of late. Very busy. We were sure it was his business with the Royal Guard. Methinks it was not. 
We have our people in their organization, but the information they pass to us these days is worthless. The association has something up its sleeve. We need useful information. There are messengers traveling between the association's posts in Tarbakin and Catalon, but most of them carry nothing. Aye, methinks that is called misinformation. Aye, we think the same. And we are ready to pay a handsome sum to learn what is behind all this. What is that you need? Documents, letters, anything they try to hide. I have found some men for this job already, but I do not believe they have enough skill and cunning. Could a task like this be so hard then? Tis not easy to get into the association, but if you do, remember our proposal. I will. Excellent. Those vendors have never paid any respect to the family. It is time to change that. Go cautiously, brother. May the gods be with you, traveler. Well met, good master. Be on the lookout for necromancers here. If you see one, run back and tell us. We will take care of him. Is there a reward for any information concerning them? Aye, there is. And we will put in a good word for you with the society. Aye. We are a special group within the society. We eradicate the necromantic presence. We force them to stop their activities here. And if they are unwilling, why, then we help them to practice their dark arts in the afterlife. Have you seen any necromancers in the area? Careless of them to come to this city. We do not tolerate necromancy, never have. I thank you for the information. If I were you, I would be cautious. Those two mages over there. Why? They are not mages, but assassins. They are here to hunt necromancers. People like them think that the best way to deal with necromancy is to find every last necromancer and kill him. Do you also think that way? Nay, I would like to find out more about the necromancers. My present project is how to obtain a summon skeleton spell to study it. Have you such a spell, perchance? I will pay you for it. Imagine that. A wonderful coincidence. Aye, a coincidence, nothing more. Since you are so resourceful, I would also like to acquire a necromancer staff. A, a senior one will do. If you can obtain one, I will give you much gold. That's interesting. Oh. 
Have you found the senior necrostaff, perchance? Splendid. Here is the money as promised. My thanks. We know all. All of what, pray? All of your dealings with Seloth Broughton. We know you helped him with his sick research. Now he has turned to necromancy. It always happens. I was only hired to acquire some items. It is not my problem that he turned to necromancy. Aye, and we know about the items too. However, given your reputation in the society, we are prepared to give you a chance. Go to Seloth and put a stop to his necromancy. Necromancers are to be dispatched on site. Does that not give you too much power to abuse? What kind of implication is that, pray? What? Necromancy is evil! Necromancers give a bad name to mages everywhere. A menace they are. You exaggerate, my friend, greatly. You seem very sympathetic to those scum. We shall keep a close watch on you. Can I still call you friend? I, I know, but I shall not yield to their ignorance and bias. I shall fight them to the death. Nay, but I will not stand for all those stupid limitations they impose on mages. Magic should not be curtailed by some society or committee. Welcome, Traveler. Have you dealt with that necromancer? Forsooth! Then you have proved your loyalty to the society. Well met.
Oh. Let's have a look. Can I help you? Who are you? You seek something, perchance. Well met. Oh, stranger. you in any way. Well met. Hey, Hale! What are you doing? Good day to you. Well... Can I help you? Stop it, or I'll call the guards. Stop.
Well met. Grand day. I know you, don't I? I do not believe so. I believe I do. I've heard good things about your work for the Gritza. You wouldn't mind helping a member now, would you? Help you with what? I had a minor misunderstanding with one of our merchants, and now he refuses to serve me. What was the misunderstanding? That's beside the point. I only need to get five lockpicks from him. He's just around the corner. You can't miss him. If you can get him for me, I'll, uh... I'll pay you something extra. Are you daft? What do you think I need them for? Picking my teeth? Verily, it was a minor matter. I sold him some loot and he recognized some of it. He even wanted it back. When I said nay, friend, he said, Get out, we're finished. Have you got the lockpicks for me? I owe you a favor now. You don't know how much I needed these. You! Have you talked with that scum Athos Kaios? I'm going to get that thief. Nay, don't deny it. I've seen you with him. Where is the harm in a friendly conversation, pray? You better not help him. He stole from my house. I'm not a member of the Geritza, but my father-in-law is. He stole a valuable brooch from my wife's jewel box. Oh, I'll get him. Aye, that is a problem. Aye. If you can get me that brooch back, I'll pay you for it. And my father-in-law will put in a good word for you with the Geritza. Not to me, to my wife. Her mother gave her it. Been in the family for years. You know women. Sentimental about such things. I have tried to join. Tis not easy, though. Even when my father-in-law vouched for me. Have you got the lockpicks for me? Over my dead body. Pathetic. Let's have a look. Have you got my brooch? You are a friend indeed. I better get this back to my wife's jewel box before she finds out. Looking for something. Always welcome here. Welcome. Hey, what are you doing? Stop.
Hail, stranger! Good day to you. Good day. Well met. I. Looking for something. Well met. Well, good day to you. Well met. I? Good day. Good day. You wish something? Just to say good day to you. No chance of that with this army around to spoil it. What seems to be the matter, good man? I know. We need them to deter the orcs. But they'll soon have more than orcs to worry about. What do you mean? I mean the army has been here far too long. The general wants to turn our free city, free city, mind you, into a military outpost. Enough is enough. Twould appear that the civilians can do nothing. About the army? Nay, we need them, but we could and should do something with that tyrant general. Like what? I don't know if I can trust you. Come, you have told me so much already. I will soon be traveling on. And I am no army spy. Trust me, friend. Well, we've got a friend who works for the general. We spent months to get him up there, but they check him every time he goes in. We need someone to get the poison to our man. You want to poison the general? It ain't as if it's lethal. Just enough to persuade him to take a long vacation in another place. Any ideas how to get it inside? 
How? I do things like this to earn a living. It's daft, but I'll take a chance on you. Take this and give it to Urias Hyos inside. Panas Lumios? He thinks nothing of the citizens, only the army. He has no interest in our problems and forces no law and order, nothing. What, no law and order? Look around you. The city is a shambles, and the army itself has no discipline. Good question. Me, I'd rather have them outside our walls fighting orcs, not inside bullying civilians. Let's have a look. Seems locked. Is it daylight? Ye gods, I'm tired. Why are you sick? Nay, my wife nags me every time I try to sleep, day and night. She's not here now. Why not sleep now? She is not here, but the minute I go to bed, she will appear in my dreams, which then swiftly become nightmares. She appears in your dreams? I, she's dead, you know. She can hardly come in person. Your dead wife haunts your dreams? Aye, and she will not stop. 
Trouble is, I know why, and I'm ashamed, too. What did you do? She wanted to be buried with her family necklace, but I thought it was a terrible waste. Oh, if I had only done as she asked. Why not go to her grave and give her the necklace? I'm scared. The graveyard is full of zombies now. Would you do that for me? I thank you. Here it is. Pity? Nay, that old sheep? Bleed, bleed, the whole day long? Mariel, I hope she didn't hear that. Dearest, dearest, just a slip of the tongue. I, we wanted a child, but it would have been a daughter, I know. Then I'd have had a sheep and a lamb bleating at me all day long. Let's have a look. Closed. Hi. You wish? From Salmon? Did you have any problems on the road? Nay, none. Here, keep the payment. It seems the Garitsa have calmed down. But for how long, no one can tell. I don't trust them. Cunning swine that they are. What is this matter of documents? How do I know I can trust you? I brought them here. Does that not suffice? Friend, of course we're happy that you did good work for us. But does that necessarily mean we can trust you in the future? You must decide. I grow tired of your constant suspicion and your documents. What? Already? And you have not yet completed your task? What do you mean by that? I need to look at a few things here. Update the documents and send them on to Ashos. Again? They should have been there by now, but our leader wanted to make some changes before they reached Takashi. I see, but my interest wanes. Nay, your interest must wax, not wane. And for money like this, who could refuse? Or is it fear, mayhap? Should I be afraid? 
It depends on your skills. The Giritsa would do anything to get their hands on this package. And I mean anything. Welcome to the Quidinar Post of Merchants Association. Please forgive the lack of comfort. We've had much to rebuild. Do you plan to leave the city? Nay, not until needs must. The Council does all within its power to foster close relations with the Catalonian army. Do you not fear the orcs? Indeed, who does not? However, a good business flourishes in extreme conditions, if you understand me. And besides, I'm not alone here. Gerard Swan should be here soon. He's responsible for contacts for those who aid us. Travel with care. Welcome here. Hail, stranger! Hey there. A fine day. Good day, sir. I'm Stelios Tarm, assistant to General Panas Lumios. What brings you to his office? I must arrange that for you. However, I can assure you of my discretion. I must speak with the general, alone. The general does not speak with just anyone, only with war heroes and myself. And you do not seem like a war hero. Farewell, then. A fine day. Ah, well met. Hail and well met, youngster. Well met, soldier. What's your business here? This is a military compound, you know. How can you tell that I am not with the military? No regimental armor. I could be on leave. You don't have the gait of a soldier. You've never been in any army. I verily. After 40 years in the service, you see such things right away. But I'm too old for the field now, they say. I used to command a whole platoon. Verily, a whole platoon? Aye, and I've had my share of fighting as well. Got a bucket full of medals for it. Though, I must admit, gold would have been more to my taste. Do the medals hold no sentimental value for you? Nay, just bits of metal for killing and pillaging. You could hardly call them fond memories. Take this one. Got it for single-handedly dispatching a whole camp of orcs. Sold. Go on, take it. Impress the ladies. That's not exactly why I... I don't care why you bought it. Good day to you. Hear me. You will not get in here. Forget it and leave. I wish to speak with the general. I told you the general does not speak with just anyone. Aye, I know. Only with war heroes. Indeed. I did not buy this medal at the market. You very well might have. You can doubt all you want, friend, but I think you should let me see the general. 
Oh, I suppose I must. Go on in, and behave yourself when you are in his presence. Farewell, then. Might you be Jan Tadeo's friend? Ah, I knew Jan would think of something.
Have you accomplished your <clears throat> task? And the proof? Here, Vilcor's hair braid. Tis good. Twas with good reason. Deserters are bad for the morale of the whole army. Farewell, mercenary. I'm working, as you can see. Let me finish this.
Greetings, brother. What do you have for me? I hope... Go... Well met, friend. You have gained much esteem of late. How do you do this? Tis not always of my own volition, methinks. You force me into things. We? Oui. You must be mistaken. I. no matter, how much will you pay for this delivery? Would 5,000 titillate your taste buds? Aye, a lip smacker indeed. The Merchant Association is very generous to those who serve it faithfully. And to those who do not ask unnecessary questions. A light begins to dawn with me, methinks. The documents have been updated with the new accounts. They expect them in Ashos. So I have to carry the accounts? Among other things, take the package to Takashi in our post in Ashos. He will pay you well for your efforts. Forsooth, at least the payment's good. Glad to hear that. Farewell. Greetings, brother. Would I? Oh, I, I would. Where in Malio's name did you obtain these? They will not be happy when they learn what I did. Malio's teeth. I know what it is. The plans of a foundry, Aki was right. What? Dwarven steel. They wish to make it. Dwarven steel. Well, I never. You know that the dwarves would never give that secret away. First the excavations in Talmond, and then that stolen device. What do you think that was, eh? A plaything, mayhap? Do you ask me? I cannot say. The dwarves left many documents behind, but most of them are in dwarven code. The House of Skeldon found several similar machines which were used to code the messages in ancient dwarven foundries. Dwarven steel, hmm? Whoever has that has power. I see you understand. We must act swiftly. Take these documents back to those who pay you. Are you certain I should do this? Trust me. There is no better tactic than a surprise attack, and we will strike sooner than they expect. Go cautiously, brother.
Ah, good day well to you. Can I help you in any way? Can I help you? Do you seek something here, perchance? Hey there. The necklace is with your wife now. Molly will be praised. Sleep. I take this as a token of my appreciation. Day. Good day to you. Ah, well met. Welcome, traveler. Let's see.
looks like my in-laws.
bandits. Here we go. Let's try that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Meet the gods. open. what you get. Someone left. Let's see. It's locked.
Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Interesting color. <laughs> I 
I feel life again. here. I am so happy to see you again. How do you feel, Kira? Poorly. It has never been so hard to use a node. There is something poisonous in the energy of these places. Can you feel it? Nay. I feel nothing. Verily. I feel the presence of something at this very moment. I cannot tell you what it is. But I feel it watches us. If they can hear us as we speak, tis bad, Kira. Nay, it is something strange and, and cold, like the taint. Ah, Kira, this nameless taint is only a figment of folks' imaginations, all their bad ghosts in their minds. You are weary. That is the reason for these hallucinations. Mayhap, but I do not feel safe here now. Whatever it is, we should not meet in the future. Someone could learn what I plan to do, and our element of surprise will be lost. I worry for you. And what if they succeed, and Aziral returns? Let them do it. He is a god and his place is here, not in a tomb. You speak like an orc. Nay, but war will always be, whether within Aziral or without. So why should we care? They do not want Azirel back. They only want his power. Ah, sister. They cannot command a god. We do not know what they can do. And this is why I beg you to be cautious. If you have no choice, you must forget me. My life matters nothing in the face of the evil you could release upon the world. Ah, I will free you and still find time to settle with Reist and his merry men. Gandahar will force you to finish the ritual. I cannot tell for sure, but mayhap he will stand with us when the time comes. You also vouched for him, did you not? Aye. Gandahar wants to help, but... Oh, I cannot be sure. Hear me, dear sister. 
When I next see you, it will be in Kudinar. No one could stop me now. This must be done. <laughs> I begin to understand why our parents never told you the whole truth. Nevertheless, I love you as you are. Until Kudinar, then. What's there? Let's have a look.
Let's have a look. Won't open. Let's have a look. Won't open. Hmm. 
Let's have a look. Bandits. That's for you. Let's have a look. Let's see.
dark. Interesting. for you. Let's see.
Let's see. Interesting.
Let's have a look. day.
You wish to speak with me? Working, as you can see. I hear that Garrett received the package. Splendid. Welcome here. Greetings. Well met indeed. Looking for something?
can I help you? Good day to you. Them again. Have a look.
what's there. Won't open. Of the taint shoots. Capital, capital. Here, take your reward and step back. You do wish to do this then? Step back, unless you wish to come with me, of course. Nay, necromancer, tis not for me. May Maliel accompany you. Let's have a look.
Ha. again. Let's have a look. So... open. Oh, it's raining.
there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see.
did you slip past them? What do you mean? Of late, the roads have all been blocked by giant insects. How did you slip past them? No fear and a good sword arm. I bow to you, great warrior. What seek you in ashes? I have matters to attend to. I do not wish to pry, but do you know anyone here? Nay. Then twill be hard for you. The people of Ashes do not warm to strangers. Indeed, tis unlikely they will even speak to you unless they be shopkeepers. I will do my utmost to make some friends. Hmm, you are an able fellow. Could you find Hoko Sayuri in the city? She is in great need of help, but be sure to greet her by name, then she will know you are a friend. Have you not seen the orc camp outside the city? We are constantly on alert. Although well protected by Yatalin's eye, I still worry. Pray tell me, how does a simple stone eye protect the whole city? Tis not the eye, tis Yatalin. He needs the eye to keep watch over Ashos. Since childhood, then she married. Later I heard she first lost her man, then her sister. She needs help by Yatalin. May the eye of Yatalin watch over you. Nice to see you. Ah, well met. <laughs> 